Hey guys, welcome back to our channel once again, Kenroy here. I hope you guys are all doing well. Now in the quest for doing DIY projects on a budget, we've got a little spontaneous project which is basically converting my daughter's high sleeper bed into a more accessible TP frame bed. Now I've seen a lot of these beds online and we were so close to purchasing one of them, but we didn't actually want to get rid of a perfectly good bed. After all, the frame was all solid, it was still in good condition, so Naomi and Abby could enjoy spending time together in each other's bed. Now this is a relatively simple project guys, and I'm so glad I had the idea. Now I will have a longer video coming out soon guys, of the reaction of both girls after returning from their half term holiday to a bedroom that has been completely made over and there's no doubt in my mind that they'll absolutely love it. Okay, so where to start? Once I've managed to move things around and make myself some space, I then had to chop the legs off of the bed. Now I could have removed all four sections, chopping them on my chop saw downstairs and then returning them back. However, I decided to cheat a little bit. I managed to actually cut the legs of the bed without actually disassembling it with the help of Sophia. So I did some rough cuts with the intention of remeasuring and giving it a much smoother finish with my circular saw. Now after cutting each leg equally, it was then time to get this bed flat in position before removing the side rail, which I won't get rid of because I actually want to use this side rail later on, so watch this space. Now the beds that we saw online weren't particularly expensive, however, with the cost of living crisis, everyone is trying to figure out a way of saving money and so we decided to try and reuse the furniture that we have. Now, I do want to encourage everyone to give this a go. Rather than throwing things out, why not try to fix it or repurpose it for something else? I'm sure you guys will be surprised what you can achieve. Now, in regards to making the TP shape for the bed frame, all I did was got some pieces of pine wood cut them to equal length before cutting an angle on one end. Now this will definitely depend on the size of your bed and how tall you want the frame to be. Now I did mine at around 15 degree angles in order to get us this height. The next step was pretty straightforward was to punch some holes in the bottom of it. Now if you have a pocket screw jig that would be even better. I kind of eyeballed it and did the best that I could. After all, this isn't going to be bearing any weight and so I just wanted to make sure it was fastened to the frame as best as possible. Now once I connected the pieces of pine wood guys, I then simply made a cross at the top where they met, punched the hole to put a screw through before connecting in the middle that piece of frame that we took off earlier. And again, this is a great way to reuse pieces of timber rather than just throwing them away. Once I checked to make sure it was all level, I then connected it with the screw and the job was done. Now there's so many different styles that you could actually do for this, so the sky's the limit. However, we've taken a simple old bed frame and turned it into something more creative and eye-catching, which I'm sure the girls are gonna love. Now with a little help from my dear wife Sophia, we managed to decorate it with a few fairy lights before adding some trinkets and I know the girls are absolutely going to love this. Okay so that's it from our DIY project today guys, I hope that this has inspired you. If you're thinking of sprucing up your children's bedroom, why not convert their bed into something special? The sky's the limit to what you could actually do with a project like this. I mean, there's so many other things you could do like change the legs of the bed or perhaps even attaching a canopy with fabric. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this. Now don't forget there's a full length video coming out soon where we'll actually be able to see the reaction of the girls. As always, this is Kenroy saying, I'll see you when you see me. Take care and God bless.